Hello everybody, this is Nadi Habib reporting love from the Maldives. Currently on my honeymoon, the last day. Just wanted to show you around and today I wanted to talk about a very beautiful topic. Steps. Um, related to the current health situation. Many people have been looking at the negative effects of what's been happening in the world. And it helps if every now and then we also try and allow ourselves to see what's been supported and energized through the current health situation. And what I noticed in these times, in these past few months, is that the feminine has been amplified. And so the current health situation has allowed and aligned with the rise of the sacred feminine. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you exactly how. The first way the current health situation has invited the world to reconnect with the sacred feminine and um, acknowledge the power and the importance of the feminine is through the lockdown. If you think about it, when meditators go into uh, you know, a week-long retreat or a Vipassana retreat or any kind of internal journey, what they do is a conscious lockdown. They go and they shut themselves out from the world in order to go inwards. And literally that's when people have enlightenment experiences. And so the lockdown has really invited you to take that time to remove all the distractions, whether it's work or friends or sports or whatever it is you're used to doing in the outside world to go inwards, to discover your own um, inner world and that includes your passion so a lot of people have been getting coaching and really investing in courses online and all this stuff because it's a time people have been feeling like there's nowhere to go outwards so they have to go inwards and so they're finding the tools that are helping them do that and the feminine is all about the inner world the feminine is all about the being the emotions the desires and so when the whole world goes on pause or stop or break and all you're left with is yourself. There's nowhere else to run anymore. And when there's nowhere else to run, then you're left with that deep, sacred feminine journey to discover who you are, what you're all about. And all these signs have been there. So it's like for the first time in your life, you start to recollect all the, all the pieces. And slow down. And so all these lockdowns can seem annoying and disastrous and they're disrupting your reality and your life, but really they're supporting your inner work. They're supporting the rise of the feminine, the rise of the slowing down to enjoy, to notice, to connect. I remember during one of the first lockdowns, I was at home with my family. And for the first time ever, we spent two, three days just together, me, my mom and my dad. And Things would happen like my mom would invite me to come and play a game with her and she's never done that in her life. Like little fun games and we were laughing and connecting. And I think that happened for a lot of us where this time allowed us to connect with the people around us. And so again, the feminine is all about the connection to the self and to the people around us. So really this situation supported that and i know many of you know that i'm just here to remind you that it's not all bad and that it's just the time of the feminine the feminine is rising from the planet as a frequency as an awakening all the stuff that's been happening outside it's overdue we've lived that age now the truth is rising now you are almost gently forced to face yourself to face who you are really beyond the distractions and beyond the group of friends you've gotten used to hanging out with and beyond 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 there is a you there is a version you of you that's really really been waiting for you to listen and now you got to listen so thank the current health situation for allowing you that the second way the current health situation has helped the rise of the feminine is in really allowing you to discover the power of your choices. When all um, external decisions are taken away, whether it's going to a restaurant and choosing unhealthy food or, you know, having the excuse of I don't have time for yoga, it's really allowed you space and time to make your choices. 
And in that way, you make the choices that suit your alignment, your health, your well-being, your joy. And when there's no one to come spoon feed you what to do, the first step of discovering what you want serves as a foundation for the second step where you're making the choices to align with what you're all about. And many of us did gain weight in the beginning of the um, current situation. But that was because there was still unconsciousness. There was still a moment of transition. We're not really knowing what's going on. It's chaotic. Ooh. And then it settled and realized, okay, it's just a slower time and I get to make the choices that serve me, to make my green smoothie in the morning, to create the rhythm that works for me. And that's what this part is all about. You creating your own rhythms. Now that you've cleared the old, you've taken that lockdown to center and feel and breathe. Now you get to figure out your rhythm. What is your rhythm all about? And there is a rhythm inside the body. I remember during my sound healing training just a few months ago, right before all of this happened, one of the uh, trainings we did or one of the prompts we worked with was to start to experience as we're working with a client or with a soul the rhythm of the water that's happening in their body, the pulse, the life force, and it's not the breath and it's not the heartbeat. There is a watery, like a wave happening inside your body. And in the same way, there's a natural rhythm within you that will walk you through your day and your week and your month. And so these times are for you to figure out your rhythm. For example, for me, because I started to tune with the feminine way before this event happened but this event helped me go deeper and recognize the places where I had already gone deep and so one of the things that didn't work for me when I had a full-time job was waking up and going straight to work because my mornings my morning rhythm I really need to um, activate my body and that includes my yoga and my reading for my mind and my meditation for my soul and my rhythm requires that and I know that and so I figured out that rhythm what's your rhythm I want you to start to figure out what's your day your time this is your life force how do you choose to make those choices what are the choices you want to make again it is the rise of the feminine it is the time for you to really in tune with what you are all about. No more external forces, leaders, guidelines. This is you time. It is lockdown time. There ain't nobody gonna come and tell you what to do except stay in your home, in your body, in your place, in your room. Go inwards. And finally, the third way these times have helped us tune in with the sacred feminine is how they've helped us tune in with our environments. Because when we're no longer out into the world, like the adventurer out on a journey, on a, into the forest, into the city, into all these different environments, and we're left with our environment, and we're left to connect with our own places, whether that's your room, or your home, or your town. And by connecting with your environment, you start to see what enhances Again, your well-being, your alignment, your soul, your joy. Maybe adding candles, maybe adding natural elements, maybe studying Feng Shui to understand alignment of objects and light and different elements in a space because space and environments are very, very um, influential and effective. And if you live in a, you know, kind of like ugly environment or dry environment or... Um, non-inspiring environment you will be ugly dry and non-inspired on the inside when you want to live in an environment that's creative and artistic and in flow and there's light and there's beauty all around then that will activate those elements within you so this is a time to really tune in with your environment your workspace your home your bedroom do they represent you do they amplify who you want to be and if they do, great. And if they don't, start to work on that. Maybe figure out one way your environment can be upgraded today, right now. And you don't have to go buy anything expensive to do that. You can find shells from the sea. 
Or you can ask me for one. I can send it to you. So that's my invitation for today to reconsider what's going on in the world as an invitation to tune back into the sacred feminine, the sacred feminine that is more about inward journeys, your truth, your emotions, your passions, giving space to that, healing, and also figuring out where your choices are reflecting your truth and your rhythm. The sacred feminine is all about rhythms. And finally, your environments, do they reflect where and how you want to show up in the world? And these are all parts of the things we talk about in my course, Awakened Woman, which happens twice a year, every year. And so if you're interested in that, you can leave me your email. I will be posting very soon about the next round. You do have to apply. I want to make sure that it's a high, high frequency of women who are in this group, as the last one was a truly powerful, powerful experience with a group of goddesses who were with us. And so... If this is stuff you're interested in, I want to thank you for showing up and doing this work because it's it's really a bit out of the ordinary. It's not the kind of information that we hear about in, you know, mass media. But there's something in you that's remembering that this is true, that this is real, that this is a calling. The sacred feminine is calling you. She is within you. She is rising. The sacred feminine is rising. Thank you so much for listening today. I hope you enjoyed this. And I'll see you again next week for another beautiful episode of Awakened Women. I send you all my love and have a beautiful, beautiful day.